Brighter Futures provides support to people who require extra help to live independently. It works with a number of partners to offer improvements to people's health, employability and social skills. Brighter Futures and the Trust have worked in partnership for 17 years on various projects, offering a complementary range of services. At the moment, there is supported living at Hillcrest, as well as two clubhouses, American and the Observatory, which offer creative groups like art, filming and editing, and music in Hanley. Hi, my name is Tom Osh, and I'm the Senior Manager for the Rehab Services. Since 2008, um, we've had a formal agreement with Bright Futures um, and we now work in partnership providing recovery, resettlement, supported housing scheme. That involves around 13 beds here uh, and that's made up of three four bedded units um, and with a dedicated um, women only service involved in that. And it was a simple thing though wasn't it Andy? It was, it was about each of us, each of the partners, each of the people involved doing the things that they were good at. Well, Chris is better at this than me in telling me how, when the partnership started. What came out of meetings we had over some shared goals for a few clients, four people that we were all working with. Um, we were both, Chris and myself, were both more operational then. We wanted to do something better because it was they were constantly not having somewhere to live, um, presenting as homeless, being um, readmitted to hospital. My name's Julie Richardson. I'm Resettlement Coordinator based here at Hillcrest Street in Hanley. My role here is leading a team of support time recovery workers who support people who are currently in accommodation. And by accommodation, I mean supported accommodation, which is part of Brighter Futures Network. We've got the clubhouse network, one of which we're sitting in today. We've got Hillcrest and the accommodation project around resettlement and recovery there, um, and numerous other things. Yes, yeah, nice to speak to you again. Um, yes, we have had the referral um, and from your care coordinator. I think one of the big successes that we get is that people stay in those tendencies for long, long periods, you know, um, because of the support they get. Without that support, we get a great percentage of failed tendencies. So I think that's why it's important and, and that's why it works so well is because you've got the two agencies coming together and, and we're looking very holistically at that person's care. It's very important to have that partnership. What that enables us to do is to come to some very, deal with some really difficult decisions together and we work together through those decisions and it's a shared own, ownership really. Well, basically, we're supporting people in good quality accommodation. We're supported in maintaining benefits related to the tenancy um, and uh, housing. Uh, housing management, which is um, looking after the property so that it's maintained in good standard. The origins of partnership go back 17 years, um, and it was a classic case of right people, right place, right time. Uh, really. The two of us, together with other people, we, um, sort of sat down and got together to try and think of ways in which we could work better and better ways with um, a group of people who all were seen at the same time. It's so much easier to work with another organisation. As I've said, you have more resources than at your, at your fingertips, really. I think it's essential that for people we support, we're able to integrate the services that they receive, we're able to work together with other partners in order to provide all the services that people need. The real test is that we're still talking about ideas to do different things. The success has been that uh, we've not stood still with what we've done and said, well, that's it. So uh, we're already negotiating currently about a, a more formal partnership around some more 
um, specialist accommodation, um, which we hope will provide a different perspective. Yeah.